So China's influence over Democrats also highlighted by the Hunter Biden and Eric Swalwell scandals. Let's bring in Republican Congressman Michael Waltz of Florida. He's also a member of the House Republicans China Task Force. My first question is a bigger, a big picture one, Congressman, which is how pervasive do you think this is? How, how much effort is China putting yeah. into trying to infiltrate even at local council, serv uh, council level? Yeah, exactly, Dana. And, and thanks for asking that. that look, this is the tip of the iceberg uh, at this point. Uh, the, the United States over the last decade is awash with Chinese Communist Party money. It's in sports programs with NBA. It's in Hollywood. Look at the Disney Milan scandal. It's in Wall Street, as a reporter uh, just mentioned, but it's in private equity that's buying up key businesses, key technologies like robotics, uh, uh, jet engines, uh, and others. And it's across our political spectrum. Uh, you know, it's no coincidence, in addition to Swalwell, in addition to Hunter Biden, which was overseeing $1.5 billion in Chinese money, investing in some of these critical technologies to help the Chinese military build up. You also had another politician named Ro Khanna, progressive from California, that's on the Armed Services Committee, with Swalwell on the Intel Committee. And he's repeatedly pushed for defunding the military, withdrawing our troops, and even standing down uh, key portions of our nuclear arsenal. I'm telling you, Dave, I spent a year on the China task force, and it is in our universities, students, it's research institutions. Uh, we really need to get a handle on this. And if you look at some of the key things the Trump administration did, like stopping investments into Chinese military, like getting yeah. our handle on the trade deficit, uh, those need to continue if there's a, tri a Biden administration. But I'm really concerned that they have this old thinking, if we just be nice to them, they'll be nice to us. Not the case. Well, and, you know, I kind of have Georgia Senate races on the brain. So I just want to talk about John <laughs> Ossoff, who's one of the Democrats. His opponent is David Perdue. Now, Eric Erickson, who is a, a journalist down there in Georgia, has written a piece about how John Ossoff had actually been um, pushed by Perdue to disclose monies that he had received from a Chinese communist media company that was going into his documentary firm. He finally did bet that. I mean... This is a young, up-and-coming yep. uh, politician. Is that the kind and, of person and, and, that they would target? That's right, and this is this is how they do this. Swalwell, when uh, when that relationship first developed, and we need to know more about what that relationship was, was when he was a local city councilman. This is how they spot, target, and recruit and start influencing. And it's very subtle. It's very soft. But if you start looking at how they view the world, it's basically influencing, whether it's senators or members of Congress, that the rise of China is no big deal. It's peaceful. It's fine. Uh, and that's exactly what Vice President Biden said on the campaign trail just this year. So uh, that's, no, that's that the narrative that they're pushing. You're going to be and going President down Z to saying, campaign. And I'll be in Georgia. That's right. I'll be in Georgia. It's near and mm -hmm. dear to my heart. And it should be uh, for the countries because it is the firewall against a lot of these progressive policies and taking a stuff, tough stand. What the Soviet Union could never do was flood the zone with money across American society. And that's what the Chinese Communist Party is doing. Do you think that Congressman Swalwell should resign or at least step down from the Intel Committee? I think he should. Uh, I think he certainly should step aside until this is fully investigated and understood. Uh, and, you know, I want to take I think we should all take a tough look at his representative Khanna uh, and others voting record, uh, whether it had to do with the Uyghurs, Hong Kong, our military, uh, uh, these financial investments and others going forward. Um, just to be clear, are, are you saying that Representative Khanna also has um, possible ties my to China? Or are, my, under are, my understanding from the Axios that. report is that he also received monies from this same Chinese operative, uh, Christina Fang, that was running around okay. you know, uh, prog you know, progressive mm -hmm. circles in California and spotting and assessing up and comers, which is, which is what they do. And on the Georgia race, Dana, if you look at that media firm, you know, they're the ones that have been very anti-Hong Kong, anti-democracy. Uh, yeah. And I would call on all Americans to, to denounce and deplore that kind, of, that kind of talk, both sides of the aisle. All right. Let's stay in touch with you. Mike Waltz, thank you so much. Thanks, Dana. Appreciate it.